Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom buildable figure review, and this one is on uh, Lord Vladek from 2006. Also, my last buildable figure review of this line. But, anyways, it's got two different bits to this set. Like both the cannon and Vladek, of course. So, let's look at Vladek himself first. But as you can see, quite different than the first couple versions of him, but at least he does have a few, at least looking a little more spiky and evil than the previous ones. But so, of course, a third version of him did make good sense, of course, but yeah. Okay, so now on to the legs, as you can see. Like, as does have the traditional foot pieces in dark red, of course, and also a uh, hang on. It also does have the spiky armor bit pieces, like we saw with the other two evil knights of this line, being Dracus and Karzon, of course. And then also for the upper leg bits, which are in dark red, nice to see there. And also. Just like the other two evil knights of the line, you got the like traditional plate pieces, but with a marvelish look to them, or marvel feel to them. And quite nice, nice to see there. And as for the body and torso bit piece. With just about the same, quite the same as the previous version of him, but with a different color scheme. Like, still cool to see there, like with the scorpion detailing to it, and nice detail etched in, of course. And as for the arms, but as you can see, quite the same as Karzon and Dracus, like, same armor piece there, so as them. Oh, which quite spiky of course but and of course odd thing is for all the for all three figures of this wave they all had to this armor piece on them but on the and I think a couple of mini figs figure sets of them did have this in dark red although it would have been nice if those were included on this one as well but whatever and of course the rest of the armor which same as all the other figures of this line, of course. And also, so quite different sword than the first couple, but this is which a lot larger and more cooler than that. Like a few spikes on the cross guard, of course, and still great to see there. And as for the other armor, which quite similar to the uh, last version of Vladek, but like with the scorpion symbol on it and fuse and the four eight studs there. <coughs> Sorry, bless me. And a couple of studs around, of course. But yeah. And as for the head and mask of which, as you can see, pretty much the same as the last version of Vladdy, but still has the marvelly tone or texture to it. And a flip up and at least probably same face print as the last version of Vladek, of course, so with the red eyes and on the red head piece, of course, and yeah. And on the back part of which, which as you see has this red cape, and of course, to make him symbolize that now he has come to power, of course, but, and of course, the bottom part of which, which is tattered, of course, which is kind of similar to that of Vizon in Bonacle, of course, but at least that was one was in black with a couple holes on it. But although this you can also use on your Vizons if you wanted, but yeah. And underneath the witch, there's just a single lever feature and a few reverse studs, which you can slash it back and forth, of course. Also, like the last version of Vladic, of course. So now for a comparison of 
first version from 2004 and second version from 2005, of course. So as you can see that first version of Vladic, which does have some like jagged slopes around to make it more edgy pointy. So at least kind of quite does have some bit of evil to him. And of course the sword piece of which also symbolizing that as well. Although the second version just only in one spot, the lower legs, but the rest of which just the same as the other Knights of the Lion, of course, but at least third version, I was quite spiky around it, making him a little more evil than that. And as for the face prints of which, same as the last version of him, but at least I can kind of forgive how the first version quite did. And of course the mask piece of which, same as for as the last version, but just not multicolored, obviously. And torso pieces, just the same, but different color schemes. Same with the shields. But I think that this version of which, probably the best version, since has plenty of evil working for him, and yeah. <clears throat> and so now for the articulation of this figure. Okay. Or articulation posability, same as from all as all the figures of this line, just no wrist articulation, and of course just the head swivel back and forth. But the mask can kind of get in the way of that, of course. And that is it with Vladic. And now on to the the uh, cannon itself, of course, or large crossbow, or which it looks like. Which, and of course, as I said, does look like a crossbow since for the upper bit of which. And of course, like the catapult one that build that came with the sword or King Jaco set, still interesting to see something in this kind of scale, of course. That's for the front wheels of which are kind of similar to that of the King Jaco. Of the set of which, but a little bit different, like with the astromech droid headpiece in there, of course, and also a few jagged slopes on there, of course, and large hollow build from underneath, since they are kind of being a little bit simplified for the time, of course. And for this back part, the which that you can move up and down a little bit. And also do have one of the like mace pieces that we also see on Hukimari and Stronius in Bionicle, of course, but also we did see this in this line used as Sir Kentis's mace and whatnot. And for the this upper part of which which does have this large jagged slope piece it's used as like the of other parts of the crossbow section at which but you don't get any a string to be put on it, but maybe that would have been a little too much hassle. And also, same exact armor pieces that all the figures have, but at least nicely, nicely to used here. And also the classic can piece with a trans orange Borok eye, and just like how these always you pull on it, and it shoots like so, of course, nice and powerfully. And the vessel of which nice different color scheme to it like with the black bit of which instead of like gray and the top part in silver rather than black quite interesting and good change there and if you compare it to this one that came with the King Jaco set as you can see it was a little bit smaller but at least this one does have a little bit more go into it and two features to it but this one has only has one but would have been nice if there was an extra feature to that, but I can still kind of forgive how it is, but yeah. And now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good, quite cool set for the time, and still quite is, but yeah. Although, 
And of course, Vladik himself a witch. Probably the best version that we've had for the whole line, like probably with the most evil to him over the previous versions and the like cap or the just crossbow of which done quite goodly like and of course the, they both of which do have plenty of good pieces to add to your bonicle mocks or whatever mocks you you can do and although some bits of Vladic are kind of reused but at least they're in different color schemes not being so repetitive of uh, course and although for this and the King Jacob set of which it's nice sets to have for in the $20 range at the time even though adjusted with inflation would be a little bit more but yeah so these are which kind of a sign of the times but yeah and with this being my last Knight's Kingdom construction review for Throwback Thursday. Well, what is next for uh, what is for next next Throwback Thursday? Well, let's find out. Let's wait. Let's see. But yeah, and also for the line as a whole, good to see something a little bit different that is not so like mechanical like Bonicle and Hero Factory both were, but at least to see well. Him and Jaco kind of progress over time, but throughout the years, but yeah. But anyways, and if so now, if y'all still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of him. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick him up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.